the UK is hosting COP26, the big climate uh, uh, conference. We absolutely are committed to being a world leader in decarbonizing our economy, in getting to net zero, in getting people off of our collective addiction to hydrocarbons and into a much more sustainable way of living. And electric vehicles are a really, really important part of that. Electric cars can absolutely save on emissions. Over the life cycle of a vehicle, it's been well demonstrated that electric vehicles are, are lower in emissions, lower in energy consumption and everything. And it's not just about cars, actually. You know, I think there's scooters, there's, there's motorbikes. And then, of course, the Carbon Battle Bus is a fully electric coach. It's time for people to start looking at electric vehicles very, very seriously. In order to get people over the line to address the challenges that we have, we think it's really important to project a positive message. You know, give people the confidence to transition because they want to, not just because somebody tells them they should. Every electric forecourt is designed to serve a particular community. So it's a bit like your local petrol forecourt, where most people in a community would, would, would fill up with petrol. That's really what an electric forecourt replaces. I guess the major difference between an electric and, and petrol is that a lot of people can charge at home. There's probably 40 or 50% of people who just don't have the ability to charge at home. So when you build an electric forecourt, that really gives people in the community who haven't got the ability to charge at home um, the opportunity to get an electric car without any disadvantages. I'm very excited about this because at long last, somebody is doing something really positive and proactive. We've done enough talking. We now need to see action. This is revolutionary. So it's great that we're kind of reducing carbon with the electric cars uh, here and the reduction that we're doing across transport area. But what we're also trying to do is absorb carbon and you know, mitigate that carbon effect by creating green infrastructure, uh, as we call it. So we can see it here. We've got reed marshes, we've got shrubs, and we've got trees. I'm standing this morning in a state of complete wow. Wow, because I feel like I'm in a five-star hotel with a conference suite and a shopping mall. And just wow because of the electric charging that's available and going on here. Okay. I'm very proud that here in Braintree uh, and Essex, of course, we have the first forecourt of its kind electric charging in the UK. That's a really big bonus for us. But also, more importantly, it's a bonus for drivers of electric vehicles, bonus for the entire environment and the country as well. What we need to do is have more of these grid serves around not just Essex, but East Anglia and of course the rest of the country as well. We've got a lot of projects in the mix. We're building four more at the moment and uh, you know, two of those are in late stage of construction. And we've got quite a large portfolio of, of other projects that are coming through. I am incredibly optimistic, the UK is incredibly optimistic that we can make this positive change and it's things like this that are a really important part of it.